Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a haul video for you guys and I haven't done this in a while um, because I just really haven't had the money so now that I graduated and I got a whole bunch of money for graduating I allowed myself to spend $100 and buy some things that I've really been wanting to getting which is another reason why there's not going to be a June favorites video this month um, for last month I guess because I didn't really try out anything new because I was so busy and I just didn't have the money. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started and let you guys enjoy this haul video. So, first things first, I'm going to start off with um, clothing that I got. So, the first thing I got is actually what I'm wearing right now. It's this shirt. Um, I'll take my scarf off for you guys, but it is this shirt. It's just like a collared denim style <laughs> shirt. Um, it is cropped, if you guys can see that, so my stomach is showing, which is kind of step out outside the box for me, but... um. Yeah, I got this from Sirens, and I love it. It's so cute. It's so, like, summery, and I just love it. Like, I don't know what I'd do without it now. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> it's just the perfect summer uh, summer shirt, I guess. Next thing I have, everything's kind of on my bed beside me. and Yeah, so next thing I got is from a store called Dynamite, and it is this um, bustier bralette thing. And it's so cute. It has little lipsticks on it. Like, what better thing for me than little lipsticks and it's so cute and I had a shirt that I wa like wanted to wear with it but then it kind of got shrunk so now it doesn't really look good with it but anyways I have this and it's so cute and I think it was only like ten dollars or something so it is just so cute um next I got the um this tank top from a store called Boathouse and it's by the brand Ambience Apparel and it's just this really cute um tank I got for Canada Day. It is like fabric on the front and then I don't even know what kind of fabric this is. Rayon? I don't know. On the back it's just really see-through like you can see my hands but it's so cute and I wore it on Canada Day and it was perfect. I love it. Um, next from Sirens again I got this these pair of shorts and I don't normally get like shorts that are like not denim but these are just so cute and they're just kind of like they're almost like khakis, but they're not. But they just have like little studs there, and they have studs in the back pockets. And I got these for like ten, eight or ten dollars, so they were a really good deal, and I really loved them. And last but not least for clothing, I don't have the top to this, but I got a bathing suit, and the bottoms just kind of look like this. They're so cute. They're from Ardennes, and the top is basically the same, but you can make it like a halter top, or you can just make it strapless. But it's so cute, and I love the pattern in it. And I love the little danglies on there. And yeah, that's basically all the clothing I got. Um, I got shoes as well, and I love these shoes so, so, so much. They're so cute. And you've seen these in a previous video, but I got these little wedges. And these are from Boathouse again, but they're from the brand DLG Don't Let Go. And they're so cute, and they are so comfortable for wedges. Like, I will wear these out. Like, I wore these out one night. And I love them, so they are super cute. And they kind of remind me of Tom's on the front. Like the Tom wedges, but they're not, and they're so much cheaper. I think I got these for $25, and I love them. And for an accessory, um, uh, house laptop case, and I got this. It says it retails for $15. I got it for $2, and it's going to fit perfectly for when my new MacBook Air comes in. And I'm so excited, guys, because I'm getting a MacBook, and my videos will be so much better with editing and everything, and I'm so excited, so please stay tuned for that, because, yeah, I'm getting a MacBook Air. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I got that. Moving on to the beauty products that I got. I did get a lot, and you're going to see me reaching this way for a lot, but I think I'm just going to reach at random and just see what I pick up. So the first thing I'm grabbing is my new Pantene Pro-V Aqualite Silicone Free Shampoo. Um, I feel like this is kind of in comparison to the Neutrogena, like, clarifying shampoo or whatever. Um, but... I don't know, I thought I'd give it a try because I had a coupon for Target and I was like, okay, well, may as well pick something up since I have a coupon here. Um, but it says that it is basically like lightly conditions um, to nourish hair when wet and cleanses gently. And I feel like it's kind of like a cleansing shampoo, but it smells really good. And I'm, I'm really interested to see how it really works because I've used it a couple times. I used it today. 
um, hence why my hair is wet, but I really like the smell of it, <laughs> so that's a bonus. Yeah, so the next thing I have is the Garnier Brusher Micro Microbead Scrub for Complexion Skin, which is what I have, like I have dry and, like, not complexion, combination skin. Um, I have dry skin and I have oily skin in certain places, so basically combination to normal skin is what I have. Um, but I'm really interested to try this out because it was like $5 at Walmart, like, I don't know, clearance. So I thought I'd give it a try, it looks cool. I haven't tried any of these products out, by the way, because I've been waiting to do this video. But yeah, so I'm going to give this one a try. Next, I got two mascaras. The first one being the Rimmel Scandalize Show Off Mascara in the color 003 Extreme Black. And it comes with a bonus um, eye coal pencil. And that's in the color Jet Black 061. So that was good because I was like, oh, well, I could get the, just the regular mascara. But then this one comes with the bonus for the exact same price. So I got this and I'm really excited to try it out because I do love my Rimmel Mascara that I already have. So... Why not give this one a try out too and see how I like it, seeing that I'm running out of mascaras. And the next one I got was recommended to me by Kayla or KK Makeup 07, I believe that's what she goes by. And it is the Falsies Volume Express um, Washable Mascara, I guess, because it's not waterproof. Um, and this is in the color 280 Blackest Black. And I'm excited to try this out. Because I haven't really, like, I've heard people talk about this, but I haven't actually tried this out. And, like, I like the Rocket Volume Express, so maybe this one will be, like, similar to it. So I'm excited to try this one out. Next, I got from Target, uh, what is this? CoverGirl. Oh, CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Self-Sharpening Eye Pencil in the color 200 Black Onyx. And it's kind of cool because it has, like, a little, on the very bottom it has like a smudger and I don't really know how to use that but I thought I'd give this a try because I had a covergirl coupon so I was like may as well use it and I decided to pick this one up so I'm gonna see how this one works and yeah if you guys want to review on any of these products please let me know because I'd be more than happy to do reviews for you guys and then another product that I got is the Maybelline age instant age rewind eraser dark for dark circles um so many beauty gurus rave about this and i was like why don't i have this yet like i have dark circles so um my color is fair i got the lightest color that they had and i'm actually really excited to try this out because if i can buy a concealer that conceals these puppies down here then i will be in heaven so yeah i'm excited to try this one out it was also recommended to me by kayla and uh yeah Next, I got this L'Oreal, um, the One Sweep Eyeshadow. I think this was on rollback, or it's, I don't know. It says it's new. I don't know how new it is. I don't know if any beauty gurus have ever tried this out. I haven't seen anything on it, but it's really weird, because apparently you can sweep the brush over top of it, and then sweep it on your lids, and you have the perfect eye look. So, I guess... I'll see how I like this. If you want to review on this one too, just let me know because I never used it before. Never used a L'Oreal product before, in all honesty. So this will be a good experience for me. And the last drugstore product I have is something I saw um, Shannon from Shanxo like kind of showing her um, lipstick collection, and I was like, oh my god, it looks so good on her. And she's a blonde, so I'm a blonde. It's gonna look good on a blonde, so I had to get it. And this is another vivid, meh, vivid <laughs> lipstick. And this is a color 870 Shocking Coral. And oh my gosh, look at that color. Like, oh, so perfect for me. It's like the nicest pinky red tone lipstick. Like it's, it's not like a really corally coral, but it's like a pinky red. And it is the most beautiful color I have ever seen. It's swatched on my hand and I love it. I... I might be biased here and I might love my other, my bright pink pop better, but we'll see how I like this one. I love their formula, so it should be good. And then the last two products I have are from Sephora and I wanted so badly to reach my 100 points so I could get a free thing and the free things that I saw online were like, oh my gosh, I want those. Like, And then the store didn't have the free things that were online. 
So anyways, I got something that I wanted at least to try out. Um, it's really little and I'm just going to start with that. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and it's so tiny. Like you can see how tiny that is. Like comparison to my finger, it's the same length as my finger. So it's really tiny. Um, I kind of tested it out, not really, so I don't really know like how I like it yet. But it's really cute. <laughs> but um, I think I've heard good reviews on this. I'll have to double check and see what other people think. Uh, if you guys have used this before, please let me know. And the last thing that I got, um, I was kind of eyeing it because I didn't really want to buy like a full size and spend like almost all of my makeup money on it. But I got this little one and it came with a little um, flat, flat bookie. So flat kabuki brush. Um, and it is the Too Faced Tan Without the Twinkle. Um, and it comes with the Chocolate Soleil bronzer medium deep and it's matte and it comes with a little flat bookie brush and it's so cute like I've taken it out and it does smell like chocolate and I was so surprised and also I kind of like swatched it and it's not as dark as it seems like as it should be I guess but anyways I'm excited to give this a really like a full try out like I have I've kind of tested it out but anyways that is my first Too Faced product as well, so we'll see how I like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my new blog. It's called beautybykayleejansen.blogspot.ca. I'll have the link down in the description as well as maybe on the screen somewhere around here. Um, that is going to let you guys know like daily things. I, I've been trying to upload daily to that if I can't do it to YouTube. Um, but yeah, so please be sure to check that out. Thumbs up this video if you love hauls and subscribe down below, I think it is. So have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!